There are some exciting changes happening to Medicare in 2023. And while a lot of people are talking about some of the most common changes, there's one really important change that no one is talking about, but it's so important to you if you're joining Medicare in 2023. So I wanna cover it in this video. You've worked hard for Medicare. Let's now get the most out of it. I'm Emily with the Medicare Coach, a leading independent advocate helping you easily navigate Medicare to protect your health care rights and your retirement savings. I got involved in this a few years ago and was helping my dad with his Medicare decision. And since I'm not an insurance company or a broker or an agent, you will hear me say very different things in this video, including the fact that there's one important thing that's happening in 2023, one important change that no one is talking about, okay? So everyone's excited about the Part B premium going down in 2023, the Part B deductibles going down in 2023, the income, the high income penalties going down in 2023, and all those things are great things. But if you're joining Medicare in 2023, there's one change that's happening that's being so overlooked. And that is when your Medicare starts based on when you apply for Medicare, okay? As many of you know from my other videos, most of you will be joining Medicare during your initial enrollment period. And that's a seven month period that begins three months before your 65th birthday and ends three months after. Now in the past, if you applied for Medicare in those three months, fall, and, I'm, and by apply for Medicare, I mean apply for Medicare Part A and B. But if you applied for Medicare Part A and B in those three months following your 65th birthday, there are all these rules that basically took longer and longer for your Medicare to get started. So if you applied for Medicare two months after your 65th birthday, it would take a couple months for your Medicare to actually kick in, which can be a big issue because that can lead to lapse in coverage. It can lead to penalties. It can lead to a lot of messy things. They changed that for 2023, which is great. So the new rule says if you apply for Medicare two months after your birthday, no problem, your Medicare will kick in instantly that next month. That's a big deal. In the past, we've been playing this game of when do you apply based on when you want your Medicare to start, especially if you're retiring within about three months of your 65th birthday. But with these new rules, that all goes away, which again, reduces the lapse in coverage and makes your life easier, makes the paperwork easier. It's just a huge, huge deal, and especially if you make a mistake Again, you can get your Medicare a lot quicker. So again, people are overlooking this, um, this rule change, but it's gonna be substantial to so many people. Now, I'm not saying that you should delay applying for Medicare. I think that people should all prepare. Um, their, ideally, you'd apply for Medicare three months before you want it to start. Um, but my point is that this change in rules can really impact a lot of people by getting their Medicare coverage earlier when they do make mistakes, all right? We'll be watching out for other big changes as they're announced. Um, again, if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. If not, let me know as well. I'm here to help you, again, navigate Medicare. In the comment section below, I'll also be including some extra resources to help you navigate Medicare to protect your health care rights and your retirement savings.